Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be looking at Open Mandriva, which is uh, based off of Rosa Linux, which in turn is based off of uh, the Mandriva project, uh, formerly known as Mandrake. Um, so this is a fork of Rosa Linux, and uh, this is their take on uh, what used to be Mandriva. Um, I'm finding it very smooth. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of KDE, but you have to admit, KDE, uh, since 4.11, has been really solid, and 4.13 is what you have here on this di uh, distribution, and I've got no complaints. It um, comes with Firefox as its default web browser. Let's take a quick look at this uh, kickoff menu they have here. They actually call it the Home Run Kicker. So, now that I think about it, that name doesn't really make sense. Anyway, uh, so you can take a look at the uh, menu here. Whoops. And so it's fairly clean. You've got your recent applications, graphics, internet, LibreOffice is installed in the Office application, sound and video. Uh, I didn't add anything. These were all pre-installed. The tools menu is the thing that I have uh, problems with here. Um, there's a lot of information in this one menu. No problem there, but my concern is how they named some of their uh, programs. So for instance, configure your computer. Looks like I've put my root password in incorrectly. Configure your computer brings you to uh, the, their, their version of the uh, software center, the control center, and you can install and, and remove software. Uh, you can configure the frequency of updates, which is kind of cool. This is a highly configurable um, uh, desktop. And the way they have it set up is rather nice. It's actually extremely polite. So you'll see right here when I go to install new software, it is going to uh, politely... Uh, well, it politely asked me about installing new so uh, about checking for updates for the system. Here it is. So uh, needs to check, uh, is it okay to continue? So extremely polite. Anyway, um, it's, it's a really easy way to update your system. So let's just say yes. And it takes a moment, but uh, I've already run the update. So everything runs a little bit faster. So again, my complaints really is just about how they've named a few things in, within the system. They've changed it from the default KDE naming convention, which uh, in some cases I already found was kind of uh, frustrating how KDE has um, their preferences built into uh, various applications instead of in one cohesive um, preference pane. But uh, so configuring your desktop will give you all the different options you normally have in KDE and, and the workspaces. You uh, can't configure your wallpaper from here. And uh, that was something that actually took me a moment to find. So let's take a look here. So what normally is called configure is called folder settings, which is ironic because what it does is it takes you to the uh, Plasma desktop settings, which, which is fine. But um, changing your desktop shouldn't be under uh, folder settings. So, you know, again, it's just how they have things named. Maybe it's... Uh, simply because this is a French distribution and uh, maybe it's just a language barrier thing. I, I don't know. But um, as you can see, it's a very clean desktop. It's running extremely smooth. Um, I haven't had any errors in this and, and uh, Steam is running fine. I was uh, trying out uh, at the last Federation, which is a, which is a very uh, lightweight uh, game. And it's fun. This is a really nice distribution. I'm going to run this on my desktop for a couple weeks, see how it goes. And uh, and uh, I'll let you guys know in the next video how long it lasted. I tend to be more of a uh, XFCE uh, user, LXDE, uh, and even GNOME Shell. I'm currently using GNOME Shell on my other computer and, uh, and really enjoying it. So thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.